Hey YouTube, sorry about that, but uh, my phone ran out of battery, so, or ran out of space, I only have 3 minutes left for this video, so really quick I'm just going to pick the game, Zelda. It's amazing to think all that, the big open world, is all in this tiny cartridge, compared to the Nintendo 64 size uh, cartridges, or the Game Boy even. Uh, it just goes on there. And another complaint people have about the Switch is screen scratching from the dock. I don't see any scratches, but I'm bad at noticing. This is a screen protector as well, and it took ages to put on. So if you're worried about your screen scratching from the dock, you can just be careful putting it in. On like I did. And then it just turns off like that. I'm not sure if it's my TV, but there's a wee bit of delay whenever it switches over. Not too bad. So, the game I put on, Zelda. The first thing you'll notice as well is how quick it is to uh, set up your switch. You get it out of the box, uh, you pick a name, and then you're ready to play. And how fast the menu is. From here you can pick your amiibo, uh, downloadable content, which has not yet. Options, continue. You can play Zelda with one Joy-Con by the way. It's the only game I know that you can only use the grip or you just can't use one. It's hard to explain. Oh, and another thing, HD Rumble. The only game I have that uses it is... I think Snake Pass uses it, but this game uses it the best. Because you can actually feel the, the wind whenever you're driving past. Is this a game you'd like if you like F0? I'll show you the options really quick before the video ends. You can turn on motion controls. Enable rumble. Change your controls, whatever. Graphics. You can show your online name. Your map. I turned the map off because why would you need it? Uh, I don't know what this does, it's brightness or something. 